My name is Francie Wharton. I am from Skidmore College and I expect to graduate in 2025. Uh, I'm in the class RU, and my mentor is Abigail Kreitz. Uh, so I've been working with the time experiment here at Cornell, um, and they basically are building a millimeter length spectrometer that studies the uh, cosmos. It specifically studies um, the epoch of reionization. And for them, I have been kind of building and designing the architecture for code that will help with detector testing for the instrument. Um, and then hopefully at the end of the summer, I'll get to use it to actually do the detector tests. A uh, dream goal would be <laughs> to have a fully functioning modulated code. So basically you can run whatever you need to run out of the full, full code to be able to run the tests you need to run. Because a lot of the tests are like interlinked with each other with a specific kind of data. So hopefully if you are just trying to do one test, you can very easily just pick and choose what you want from the code. Um, Another great thing would be is that I actually got to test out my code on the instrument. We've had some problems with cooling the instrument down. Uh, it uses something called cryostat to make sure that all the detectors are at superconducting levels. So they have to be like 250 millikelvin, so that's like a quarter of a degree above absolute zero. Um, <laughs> so we've had a lot of problems getting the detectors cool enough to be actually be able to do testing. So hopefully we can cool everything down, which is what we're working on right now, and then I can actually use my code. So. That was a hard one um, because I think if you're not interested in space, you probably wouldn't be interested in this, but I feel like a lot of people are interested in space, so that's pretty good. Um, I think that this project will really, time itself will tell us a lot about the history of the universe and how the first stars formed, and I think that will help us better understand how the full universe came to be. Uh, so it's like one piece of the bigger picture of fully understanding the universe. I think it's really taught me a lot about what graduate programs look like and like the wide variety of research that goes on at institutions like this. Like even though I'm in class and that's like a particle physics accelerator science program, there's so many different projects and so many different types of science going on. Like I'm doing astroparticle physics. There's people who are working on uh, like the accelerator here at Cornell. There's people working on uh, stuff from Brookhaven, there's people working on stuff from CERN, so there's just so much different things going on. There's so many different things going on. Um, and I think I really had more of like a narrow idea of like, oh, well, if you go to this one program, like everyone's kind of zoned in on one thing and that's totally not true. Um, I've also just really loved working with all the different people. Like my mentor is awesome. She totally is able to like meet me where I am, is there to mentor me, there to help me out. Um, the graduate students in my lab have been really great, offering a lot of advice, always being like, hey, if you want to talk about anything, I'm available and I've loved meeting the other RU undergraduate students. That's been really awesome. So. Uh, so coming in, I didn't know pretty much anything about astronomy or really about coding. Um, I had done like a little bit of Python in the past, like for research or class, but that was very much like running other people's scripts or making a graph. Um, and so being like there and designing my own code and kind of working with collaboration information and um, kind of having to build something from the ground up and incorporate other people's work has been like a real challenge for me. Um, and also just being able to understand what I'm doing in the coding has been hard because I really didn't know that much about cosmology or astronomy, but I've learned so much. Like I think I spent like the first three weeks just like reading paper after paper, asking questions, all of that. And so I definitely feel like I have a better understanding of what I'm doing in the big picture now than I did at the beginning.
Yeah, I think I came in really unsure if I wanted to do like a PhD program after undergrad or if I wanted to do research. I'm still not 100% sure, but I think this has definitely given me a better sense of what that path would look like. Um, it feels less like distant, I guess. I go to a small liberal arts college, so we don't have any graduate students, which, I mean, I really enjoy, but it also means that I haven't had the opportunity to talk to graduate students about their experience. Um, so I've really enjoyed that. Um, I think that I really get the appeal of research a lot more now. I think I've been doing a lot of computational work at my home institution, and that's fun, but from this summer, I've learned that I really like instrumentation work a lot. I like getting in there with a screwdriver and like learning how the pulse tube works, learning how the cryostat works, helping when things go wrong. Um, like right now we have a problem where like we can't remotely access the data from the cryostat. So someone has to literally babysit it to make sure it doesn't turn off. And so like, I love being there and like listening and waiting to see if it's gonna turn off and being available if anything goes wrong. Um, and. So that really gives me more to think about, like, if I want to do a project like this, if I want to do a PhD in the future, I want it to be something that's more hands-on like this. And so that's really cool. I think it's just, this program has been really great all around. Like, it's awesome to just be surrounded by physics people for 10 weeks. I think everyone is, we've all gotten along really well. And so that's been really, really nice. Um, like last weekend we went to go see Oppenheimer together, which is like amazing. <laughs> it was even cooler to go see it with a bunch of physicists. Um, and so I think I just have really enjoyed every aspect of it, like the work aspect and the social aspect of the program. So.